Hi everybody, welcome to another video from the Garish Greco. Today I'll be doing the Castle of Pyrenees. This piece was commissioned by Magritte's longtime friend, the international lawyer and poet Harry Torchnier. It was then given to the Israel Museum in Jerusalem. Painted in Belgium in 1959, oil on canvas, it is 200 by 145 centimeters. This is an, an extraordinary piece illustrating a stormy ocean with a larger than life rock floating inexplicably in mid air and blue skies with a castle constructed on top. This has become one of Magritte's most renowned works. Employed with that heightened simplicity, Magritte captures a fantastical realm that is both awe-inspiring and disturbing. The waves of the ocean are a dark, deep blue, hinting on black, and the tide is turbulent, extending far out into the horizon, showing no sign of reprieve. It is interesting that Magritte chose to create, for this fantastical scene, a shore and I speculate it is because it once again is an invitation for the viewer to be taken on a voyage. We who have seen the sea are familiar and know the shore. It is not my intent to erode this captivating and personal favourite of Magritte's pieces of its charm and power of mystery through extensive analysis. Instead, I would like to bring attention to those hallmarks that comprise a quintessential Magritte piece. A rock is probably the most familiar element to humankind of this world, and Magritte has, with a touching delicacy, painted most likely the most magnetic rock ever to embrace a canvas. Its dark blues and greys reflect, in my mind, stormy nights of haunting ghost stories whose narrative is riddled in mystery and unsolved puzzles. It has an intense, almost sudden shadow cast across the right side of it, which darkens substantially on the underside. This behemoth of an apparition is set stark against a blue, calm sky with wispy, whimsical clouds. This contrast adds to the foreboding of the rock. Although the rock itself is not threatening, there is something about the journey that might be. It creates suspense and dramatic tension within this piece, and I suspect that the dark throw of shadow indicates that the rock is slowly turning. This emphasizes with a vivid stillness the right formation of objects necessary to displace one from the dwelling of the conscience into the depths of their subconscious. This piece makes me uneasy, but also unaccountably excited. The castle heightens the intrigue and adds a dignity to the piece, which could, if painted by any other, would border on camp. This technique of Magritte's to execute his pieces with such honesty and integrity, permit me to say, so much so, that I can almost see his soul. And that is what I have on the Castle of Pyrenees. I just want to say that I enjoy every single second you guys are with me and I appreciate it. Remember to like and subscribe and help support me in this channel and please leave your uh, comments in the comment section below. Uh, have a lovely, lovely rest of week and um, blessings everybody from the Garage Grackle. Goodbye.